Welcome to Noonday Prayer from St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Beaufort, North Carolina. I am Walter Phillips, one of the Eucharistic ministers here at the church. The service is being broadcast and put on the internet on YouTube and Facebook by Mary Dwayne Hale, former senior warden. Our service begins in the prayer book today on page 103. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. The first reading today is from the book of Genesis, beginning with the second chapter. In the day that the Lord made the earth and the heavens, when no plant of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprung up, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no one to till the ground. But a stream would rise from the earth and water the whole face of the ground. Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. And the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground, the Lord God made to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden, Till it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, You may freely eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat, eat of it, you shall die. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm appointed for today is 104 verses 25 and then 28 through 31. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. All of them look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it to them, they gather it, you open your hand and they are filled with good things. You hide your face and they are terrified. You take away their breath, and they die, and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, and they are created. And so you renew the face of the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. World without end. Amen. Today's Gospel is from the 7th chapter of Mark. Then he called the crowd and crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. <coughs> when he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Then you also fail to understand. Do you not see that whoever, whatever goes into a person from outside to outside cannot define, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and goes out into the sewer? Thus he declared, all foods are clean. And he said, it is what comes out of a person that defiles, for it is from within, from the human heart, that evil intentions come, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, adverse, wickedness, deceit, 
licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, and folly. All these, all these evil things come from within, and they define a person. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reflections on what we've read today. Psalm 104 ex expresses the Lord's care over all his works. It describes the fullness of the works of God and honors him as creator of heaven and earth. In some of the translations or the readings in the Bible, Psalm, <clears throat> Psalm verse 25 provides a vivid description of the Mediterranean Sea. It also invokes the immensity of the ocean. In the verses 28 through 31, the psalmist is speaking in the Hebrew language, Hebrew language, engages us in poetic form, which provides room for intense imagination. And he describes God in pictorial language. Offered instruction in how to pray, psalms are each in their own way about the rule of God. His kingdom, his law, his glory, his worthiness, his primacy, and his standards. In the reading from Genesis, since we were talking about poetry in Psalm 104, Hebrew poetry, we have this reading about the creation of man. First, God created with the world, heaven and earth. Then he created everything in an orderly way, needed to form a world to sustain what would be needed to sustain, that he would create in mankind. After creating man from dust from the ground and breathing life into him, God created the Garden of Eden, into which he placed man. And in the garden was everything needed, which man could cultivate for existence including the tree of life. God also placed in this garden the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, telling man that he must not eat of this tree. In telling man, whom God created in his own image, not to eat from this tree of the knowledge of good and evil, God presented man with a choice, free will. Mankind had the chance to love and serve God and live with him in harmony and peace, so long as he followed the instruction to obey God. Mankind had his choice, and still does. Choose life or choose death. In the reading from Mark in the seventh chapter, speaking to the multitude, Jesus says nothing from the outside going into a man can defile him. But the things inside a man which he lists, which proceed out of his mind or his heart, are the evil that defile him. In this chapter, verses 1 through 13, or, which we didn't read, the lawyers and Pharisees were condemning Jesus' disciples because they weren't practicing the, the tradition of the elders, washing their hands and pots and cups before they ate. Jesus called them hypocrites and said, Rightly did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, that the people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far away, and in vain do they worship me, holding fast to the, to the tradition of men while neglecting the commandment of God. In verses 14 through 23, Jesus isn't saying that it doesn't matter what we eat or drink. Nor is he saying, don't wash our hands. He is replying to the legalism of the scribes and Pharisees who used it to judge, to condemn, and to exclude. The scribes and Pharisees developed lists, and rules, and regulations, and rituals which diminished the word of God and elevated themselves. Jesus said if you want to be concerned about things that defile, Look into your hearts for the cause of real impurity, not man-made rules. Man-made rules may protect us from the condemnation of society, 
but they won't protect us from the evils that come from the heart. We must honor God and revere him with heart, lips, and life. Thanks be to God. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we remember this day before thee, thy faithful servant, Charles Tate. And we pray that having opened to him the gates of larger life, thou wilt receive him more and more to thy joyful service, that with all who have faithfully served in the past, he may share the eternal victory of Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve thy sick servants, and give the power of healing to those who minister to their needs, that those for whom our prayers are offered, Nancy Moore, Rachel Chaplin, Bitsy Dudley, Alton Eastman, Bill Campbell, Mamre Wilson, Ruth Daniel, Ken Ira, Nelson Taylor, Joe Fake, Ann Eastman, Ben Green, Ben Green, John Carlisto, William Davis, Diane Manville, Bob Manville, Judy Mercer, Jack Gardner, Annette Cruz, Jamal, Patty Otten, Sarah Evans, Jenny Oslo, Ann Hyman, Joe Smith, and Beth Barnes. That they may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in thy loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless our land with honorable industry, sound learning, and pure manners. Save us from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In the time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust to need to fail. All which we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty 
Savior who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles. We pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.